People are still talking tonight about the controversial end to the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament this weekend. Tonight, the owner of the boat that landed the 600-pound Marlin that was disqualified is working to change the rules that cost his crew more than $3 million. Joining us live in Greenville, and Rebecca, what actions is he deciding to take? Yeah, Ashley Blue, he's owned the sensation for just over a year and was thrilled to be bringing in what would likely be the winning Marlin for this year's Big Rock Tournament. And the crew fought it for over two hours, and at first, they didn't see anything wrong with the fish that they took four hours to boat. And looking at the fish, once we brought it aboard, saw no signs of any type of bite. There were thousands cheering on the sensation as it was headed to the scales, and once docked, Blue says everything turned to whispers. What's going on? And, oh, well, we don't know if we're going to weigh this fish. And I'm just like, well, there seems to be a lot of people around that would like to see this fish. The marlin was disqualified on the basis of two marks that appeared to be shark bites, which goes against a rule the Big Rock Tournament has had in place for decades disqualifying any fish mutilated while being reeled in. I talked with a representative of the International Game Fish Association yesterday who says the rule is in place to ensure an angler doesn't have an unfair advantage with a wounded fish. But Blue says the marks had no impact on the marlin. To look at the condition of that fish, the solidness, the, the way that the fish acted, it did not impede on any ability for us to be able to harvest that fish. The final decision to disqualify the sensation was released Sunday morning and Blue immediately put in his official request to change the ruling. I genuinely feel like they made their decision Saturday night and basically put it off to Sunday for crowd control. Blue and his legal team are trying to get the mutilation rule changed. He says it's unfair that Big Rock only follows certain IGFA regulations and that the tournament should either follow all of the rules or none of them. What I really strive in this whole situation to achieve is to not have another fisherman to have to be held accountable to this crazy rule that you have no control over. If the Big Rock Board upholds the disqualification, Blue is prepared to take legal action. We are prepared to take it as far as we need to, to make sure that adequate change is made and adequate you know, compensation is taken care of as well. I just want to move forward in the best way we can for all our anglers. And we did reach out to Big Rock officials, and they just confirmed that Blue did write an official petition to overturn the disqualification. And despite the outcome of the tournament, Blue and the rest of the Sensations crew have been overwhelmed by the level of support coming from the community. And he says that that's something that'll stick with him for years to come. Reporting live from Greenville, Rebecca Heckel, News Channel 12.